New shooter coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by B&H and Atomos. I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com and we are at NAB 2023 and I'm with Paul at the Atomos booth. Paul, how are you doing? We're doing well, yeah, and exciting to be back. Yeah, we made it again. We've, another year. <laughs> another year, and it's a good year. There's a lot of people here, that's really There's great. There's a lot of people, yeah, yeah, obviously we're here on the first day and yeah, we're bowled over already with the people here, so good, it's, love it. It's fantastic. So, Atomos has been pretty busy. You guys are constantly making this new product better and better. Let's talk about it, what do we got? Yeah, so it's been super busy year since last year. So we're basically building on all of our connected features within our new connected products. So if just for people that don't know, we've obviously got three connected products. We've got the Zato Connect, and we've got the Atomos Connect module for Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus, and we've got the Shogun Connect. Now those three core connected products, they still do all the amazing things that people buy Atomos products for. Still super high quality HDI monitoring, um, uh, ProRes raw recording, all the usual stuff, waveform tools, whatever. But now with this connectivity, that's what we've been working on particularly in the last year to expand what you can do with those products when you're connected to Atomos Cloud Studio, which is the gateway to lots of other services. And that's what we've been working on. Okay, let's start from the bottom to the top. That's always a good place to go. People might not know as much about this recorder and this the features of this of this device. It does, like you said, everything. And it's not going to break the bank. Let's talk about the pricing just to get in. It's not crazy expensive. No, I mean, the, the, the Ninja, we've got a promo running on that for 399 but super, super cost effective. The Atoms Connect module, 399 So. The, the price point for entry is, is is really super competitive. And what it does, as you say, we've got all those features that people love our products for already, and now we've just got these extra layers on top of functionality that they didn't used to have. So we've not taken anything away, we're just giving more and more and more. Fantastic, okay, we got the device. Now, where do we go from there? Cool, so yeah, the connected products, so we connect them to Atmos Cloud Studio, that, that's the gateway to all of these services. And in the, last, in the last few weeks, we've launched uh, the full paid for subscription service. It starts at free. And then the first tier is actually a really affordable $5 a month. But what we've got with that is some really cool new features for our users and some new services that we can offer. So let's go through what that is now in terms of changes. So one of the big changes, um, obviously with our Connect products, we've always been able to stream social directly, YouTube, Facebook, live, whatever. Um, we can now have different price plans, different tiers. We can have different resolutions and frame rates um, going up, and bit rates, I should say, going up to, to, to social. Camera to Cloud, now uh, Adobe Camera to Cloud Frame.io, we've been launched that NAB last year, actually, if you remember. I do. And that's gone from strength to strength to strength. We've got so many thousands of users now using that successfully many, many case studies. And the new cloud subscription means that people have more flexibility in the bit rate and the quality of the file going up to the cloud. So they can use that file in a different way. It may not be for a proxy hero type of relinking situation. It could be generating a really high quality file off our device and using that as their file for editing, getting out to social media, could be sports, it could be, could be events, it could be music events, it could be anything. And that's how we're seeing people using it now. And, and it's, it's really important because a lot of, there's a lot of this, the, the cloud base where you're just hit, you're sending proxy files to an editor. This is, there's a lot of live uh, you know, capabilities here, like you were mentioning. It's not just a one trick pony. It's, it's, it can do what you're saying, you know, take the proxies, upload them, have an editor start cranking them out. Uh, but you can do lives on almost any platform, right? Yeah, you can. And, and that's really how we've seen people evolve over the last few months and how people are using it. Um, so yeah, so one of the actually the main features that we launched with our new cloud subscription with the camera to cloud is what we call progressive upload. So anyone on a paid plan, which is starts at $5, whereas before you used to have to wait until you'd stop recording before that file went up into the cloud. So let's say in our situation, we have a lot of users that are using it for long form recording because it's not like short takes for episodic TV or movies. People are using it for events and for live production. You know, live production. So they might be recording an hour or two take. So with progressive upload, we're actually sending that file up as we're recording, and when you stop recording, we're literally doing a very quick file transfer between Cloud Studio, Atoms Cloud Studio, and let's say Frame.io. So you can have an hour take that could appear on the timeline in Premiere 
within one minute, 32 minutes. So it's super, super benefit on, on that. So that came with the new cloud subscription. Fantastic. And you also mentioned that if you're a, you're a pro user, there's an option for you there as well. Yeah, there's, there's, we've got tiers all the way up. So five, five dollars, twenty-five dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars. Each one has a whole bunch of different uh, features, services. So the amount of devices you can attach to your Cloud Studio account, the flexibility that you have on all your bit rates and your custom settings to your device. That all increases, increases. And then when we talk about, which we can talk about in a second, about the live production aspect of using the same device in a live production, it also the tier service also the tier subscription service includes live credits for that live production. So there's lots of different things we've bundled in to make it really attractive. And 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 as usual, Atom Star, we're 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 making it very attractive and easy for the user to to get into these new workflows, whereas maybe before they would never have been able to afford it, or the, the equipment was way too expensive to get into it. Yeah, it opens up a whole other avenue for people to to exploit in a way. So let's move on to the next one. Now we're talking about. Uh, you were talking about the live production. Is that, is that where we're going? That's where we're going, yeah. I'm, in my mind, I'm going around the booth. In a, in a, in a, <laughs> so yeah, live, live production is the one that we, we've now, is live on Atoms Cloud Studio. It, it, it's available right now. And that's the whole exciting prospect of taking the same kit, the same Atoms kit, but this time, you're pairing it with Atoms Cloud Studio, and rather than saying, I'm going to go into Frame.io today, I'm now going to use that as a live source into a, a live production suite. Now, what I mean by that is that all of that, all of that equipment you would normally find in an outside broadcast truck, whether it's vision mixers, graphics, sound mixer, intercom, tally, that's all built into the cloud. And this kit is now the gateway to that. So, if, if we were here as the as the camera camera person for this, this would be a live source into a show. The video is going in. We'd be able to we were able to plug in and hear talk back. We'd see tally when we're cut live. All these features you would expect from a, a truck or yeah. heaps of kit is now just built into the cloud and part of that subscription service uh, that I've just been talking about that we've just launched. So another way of bringing another use case for our kit. That's awesome. And you can do this globally. You can be in Barcelona doing the production and you know working the whole back end in California, right? Totally, and that's how we're seeing people use it as well. I mean, I guess this has all been accelerated with this remote workflows in the last couple of years, but absolutely, you can have, and we've got plenty of use cases where we've got uh, people shooting in, it could be multi-camera in one environment, but the production crew, they're in a completely different place, a different continent even, and people collaborating on producing the same output, the same show, even with, with maybe the sponsors um, or, or, or the creative agency working somewhere else, seeing what the output is. So there's no need to be in the same place anymore. Fantastic. Okay, for users to understand the other aspect of it, and this is a little bit out, maybe, maybe it is out of, maybe it's not out of your control. It's always about bandwidth with, these, with anything. Um, you know, what, do you, what would you recommend people when you're saying, like, or, or where would they go? How would they figure that out? Because you got the hardware, you got yeah. the software, you got the ability, but there's that little piece that you got to rely on somebody else for, and that's the bandwidth. How do, you, how do you work around that? So, yeah, obviously all of our new connected products in terms of the live production and the streaming and everything does depend on having the internet, of course. So, it's not a straightforward part, uh, question to answer, not because I'm trying to dodge the question, it's just that there are many different ways of configuring it where you can have a lower bit rate if you know that you're going to be, you haven't got so much bandwidth. You can still record the ISO file on the, in a really super high quality on the device itself, but literally in, you can you can have very limited bandwidth and still have great camera to cloud experience. You can still have relatively limited exp uh, for for streaming for live production. So I guess it's a little bit horses for courses. And within the settings that we have for our, you can withdraw, you can throttle back the bandwidth on the bit rate to compensate for what network you've got. And of course, if you're in somewhere which has a, got a really high bandwidth, you can up that bit rate and, and, and go crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, Paul, are we at the end of the booth or do we have a couple more stops? We've got one more stop around <laughs> the corner. So, so the, the, the other announcements that we've made uh, within the last week or so, before we just leave this part of the booth, which is the camera to cloud side, so on the whole capture to cloud side, we've we've just announced that we'll be supporting integration with Sony CI Cloud, 
um, which is another sort of platform that our users would like to be, have the option of using. So again, it's up to the user which platform they want to choose. Uh, so they'll be able to do that, and that's coming mid-2023. But then moving around to the other side of the booth, we also announced a whole new uh, part of cloud-based editing. So th this, is, this is super cool. So basically, this is using the same connected kit, and we can now take, this, take the output of, of, of a camera, and just like camera to cloud, we're progressively uploading those files directly into a bin on a cloud-based, web-based editor, wow. Atomus Cloud Edit. So literally straight away, you could start editing content in the cloud on a timeline collaboratively with anyone else in the world because it's web, web browser based. Mm. So you can start working. It's a, it's a super easy web, um, web interface. It's sort of meant for people that can edit, but they, they're not wanting to craft edit particularly. So in the first instance, they can just clip stuff together. They can top and tail it. They can put branding. They can put graphics and top and tail with titles and they immediately can publish to YouTube or Vimeo, as an example. Mm -hmm. Never leaves the cloud. It's left here. You've still got the original media on the drive, so you're never going to lose that. But you've, you've, you've taken it up to the cloud, and someone is editing in it within, within seconds around the world. But also, with our, with our edit, uh, Atomus Edit platform, you can then export that XML file into a craft editor like Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Very so nice. you can really take it on to the next level if you want, but we can see a yes, lot of people So you can get it done now, and then if you want to you know, make another edit, you can do that as well. You that's, can. Pretty, that's pretty great. So you're not, you're not sort of like you know, boxed into one edit platform yeah. when, you're, when you're doing this. This yeah. is a great way just to get those cuts done. Yeah. That's really, that's really good. That's great integration. People are going to like that. Yeah, so, so we're really seeing that, and I've almost got to the end of the booth now, by the way. <laughs> the, uh, we're around on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so so what, we, what we're seeing now, hopefully, is, is, is if you look at all of those things that we can hook into from Atomus Cloud Studio from our connected device, it's a really broad and wide, wide ranging areas. Yes. Whether it's edit, whether it's live production, whether it's camera to cloud, whether it's streaming, yeah. all of those things. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, did we make it to the end of the booth, Paul? I can we have. <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot, Paul. Appreciate it. Really exciting stuff. Great, thank you.